Hi, it's T from Teresa Age Creates and welcome to my channel. Today's video is the March 2024 sheet load of cards. This is a card sketch and cutting instructions provided from Alicia at Call Me Crafty Owl. Her YouTube channel is youtube.com slash callmecraftyowl. She provides this free sketch and cutting instructions template every month and all she asks is that you subscribe to her channel. So you can pop over there and get the instructions. I am going to go through what I have pulled together so far. So supplies needed are three 12 by 12 pattern papers, um, two eight and a half by 11 solid card stocks, and then six eight and a half by 11 solid card stocks to cut into 12 card bases. I don't do that um, because I prefer to use the um, Nina Solar Crest um, white cardstock. Um, it's just a 110 pound cardstock that I prefer to use as my base. It's nice and sturdy. So this um, yields 12 cards, these instructions. So I have 12 bases already cut and ready to go. And then also for my sentiments, which is this, which is the CS2. It's the other um, sheet. I just used paper scraps. So I pulled paper scraps out of my stash and I went ahead and cut these down and I stamped out some sentiments. So I've got happy anniversary, thinking of you, just a note, and just saying hello. And I used this Hero Arts. Let me put this and put some white behind it so you can see this. It is a really cute little sentiment set from Hero Arts, and I picked it up probably either at Joann's or maybe Michael's. Um, it must have been where I picked it up, but it says, just a note, there's the thinking of you, happy anniversary, and then um, just saying hello, but it's got a lot of really great sentiments on it, so it's a wonderful little stamp set, and I used, I didn't use my Misty, I just used an acrylic block, did this old school, and I used the uh, VersaFine Onyx Black stamp pad and I went ahead and stamped those out. So those are cut down and those are stamped and ready to go. And then for the actual cards themselves, I really wanted a nice kind of a spring feel. So I went through my stash. I don't have a lot of spring like cards. Um, I'm sorry, pattern papers. So I went through my stash and I found this. So let me see, sometime at the end of last year, I had ordered a mystery box from Pink Fresh Studios and they sent me a lot of just miscellaneous papers. And I have these papers from their Happy Blooms collection. So this is called Handkerchief. That's the front and the back. This one is Daydream. It wasn't a complete collection. It was just a few flower patch was just a few sheets, but it was very pretty. And I thought that I would select my three 12 by 12 papers from this collection. This one was heirloom together. And so looking at this card sketch here, I'm going to need three 12 by 12 pattern papers and I really like this. I really want purple. Purple is my favorite. I think I'm gonna go with the purple. This one's really calling to me. And so I like this with the purple, but there's this huge white space here. So I don't really want to, to use, oh, that's pretty too. I think I might go with flower patch because it's got some of the purple in it. All right, I'm gonna go with flower patch and daydream. And then for my third, it might be nice to have something. I like that green too, but that really doesn't. Hmm. I wonder if I should do stripes and pull that in. That might be a little busy. I think I might go with this, this yellow. Okay, so now I've got my papers picked. So I'm going to go with three, these three papers. So I've got the purples and the yellows together. And um, in each of these um, colors, I've got my sentiments. I've got my card bases. I'm going to cut these down and then I will, I'm off camera. I'm not gonna make you <laughs> watch me cut these down. That's always so exciting, right? 
Um, but don't worry, Alicia provides the um, cutting instructions on the actual paper. So it has all the cutting guides for you, all the measurements and everything. And I'm really hoping I get this right because I only have the three sheets and that is it. If I don't get the cutting right, then I will definitely have to go with one of those other options. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these down off camera and I'll be back to assemble. See you in a bit. Okay, and I'm back with all of my pattern paper and cardstock cut and I want to assemble a card with you. So I ended up using a die cut to cut out the center portion here. I always change mine up just a bit. So there's this nice rectangle here and the dies that I had were the width of the paper and um, it took off a little bit on the length, um, but that's fine, it was minimal. And so I um, went ahead and glued the sentiment across the paper so that it was perfect. And then I lined up the die to center the sentiment and then went ahead and die cut that out um, that way so it was already attached. And then I chose this nice dark purple for the card stock, the solid card stock for the uh, layering bit. I'm gonna use my art glitter glue to go ahead and glue this on top. I always change mine up just a bit. I just get going with it and always end up doing something a little bit different, which I think is really encouraged. So that's a good thing. And then I have these bits here, my four by four, and then my little, I think it's a inch and a quarter. And so I am going to line them up. Let me move this up just a little bit so you can see what I'm working on here. I am going to line these up and then I have this super thin washi that I really don't use for anything um, that I am going to use to just tape the back of this. This will help me put it on the card base just right. So I'm going to tape that up flip it over. And now I don't like this visible um, line here. And especially since I am going, I'm using a top folded card. So I'm changing the orientation of my card. Um, so I wanted to put something here to kind of cover this up just a bit. I ended up pulling out my um, Love from Lizzie peel offs. Let me see, this is just a little bit high. There we go. I ended up pulling out my Love from Lizzie peel-offs and I selected these. This is a nice little shiny, kind of a yellow iridescent color. And then um, there was some clear with a gold trim and then some different gold ones and then an ir a clear iridescent. And I ended up using the yellow. I thought that it was just kind of a soft spring color, added a nice touch. And so those are from Love from Lizzie. You can go to her website. She's in the UK, but ships to the US. And I absolutely love her peel offs. They add just a little something extra when you need it. And she has a huge variety of peel offs, lots of different colors, even some shapes. I think she's got some hearts and circles and I've used those before in some of my videos. So now that I've got that on, I'm going to attach this to my card base now. Use my ATG tape, get it nice and sticky. And so this makes it, with these attached, it makes it easier for me anyway to line these up instead of attaching them separately. And you can always trim off any of the excess um, that's on these, but I just prefer to attach them all at once especially since I was going to put that peel off on anyway. And then I'm going to center this on that four by four pattern piece on the top. So it's my three different patterns, my peel off. And then with some of the extra paper, I did go ahead and cut out an inch. So it's this uh, four by one inch 
um, piece of pattern paper and I ended up matching all of the little bottom pieces and I'm going to put them on the inside of the card. So the inside of the card has a little bit of a decorative piece as well. And there you go. That was my card. So again, this is the Call Me Crafty Owl sheet load of cards for March 2024. And here are all of my cards, thinking of you. And then again, these have the, all of them have the matching on the insides. Just saying hello, happy anniversary, just a note, just a note, happy anniversary, just a note. So just saying hello, just saying hello, thinking of you, and then just saying hello. So it was a nice mix of cards. I really enjoyed making this. This is an excellent way to use up a lot of your um, card stock, your stash. And again, here's an example of how you can change the orientation of this card sketch and just really make it your own. Change the orientation of it, use some die cuts, use some peel offs, and, and it's similar style. It followed the sketch, um, but looks really different. And this is what I had left from my pattern paper. So I had just these little bits of scraps. I had a cutting snafu. I'm so glad there was a little bit extra. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do decide to post your cards that you've made, use the hashtags, show us your sheet load, March 2024, and then hashtag show us your sheet load. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.